Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I'm still getting this transformative energy that's going on around you, but that would have been like something that you would have had to see here or had to handle today, right? It was a call for you to make sure that you are following your intuition. And if you did not catch my last video, I did a short little video, a live video about following your intuition. This is where the collective is being called to go right now, wherever your intuition is leading you, right? But at the same time, as a confirmation that you are following your intuition, okay, you would have been faced with a test. And I'm getting it like it was a test of, are you following your intuition? Can you follow your intuition? Because somebody was either trying to come test you or you were being tested to confirm that you're on your right path, okay? You're gonna resonate, right? Because this full energy is coming out for you, right? The fact that you did take a leap out on faith, you're doing something new, you left the person, place, or thing, you know, place the energy as it resonates with whatever you were leaving or they, it left you or whatever the situation was, right? It was you going somewhere you needed to go, wherever that was. And I'm like literally looking at you like the, the wind at your back, the wind, the wind in your hair, you're doing something new, you're doing something fun, right? And this full energy talks about not only, you know, taking a different approach in something, it's also being spontaneous, right? This is definitely something like the new energy that I was getting for you guys. It is an elevation in the collective, right? Wherever you're going, you're following your intuition, wherever it's guiding you. And to be quite honest, collective is helping you get being guided to your north node, right? However, the situation resonates. This is your full energy. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm also getting that somebody else took that full energy. I'm getting like a like somebody's following you. If not energetically, like, and I'm like really getting like somebody's paying really close attention to what you're doing right now. You, you've left a, 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 an ex or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're disconnected from your friends or family, coworkers, what have you. Other people want to see what you got going on. Like you have an audience, right? They're very curious about what you got going on. You're over here doing you by yourself with that full energy. Somebody's like creeping up behind you with the seven of swords, lying, cheating, and stealing and being really cunning about you. And I'm like getting like creeper energy from this, right? But somebody was carrying the seven of swords and I'm getting it mainly like it's because of you took your full energy. You are doing something different. You have a new beginning. You're being spontaneous and living life on your terms, right? So it triggers somebody. They don't like you doing what you do. They want you to do what they do. You're like, nah, homie, peace, I gotta go. So somebody starts lying, cheating, and stealing, right? But that junk is getting canceled with the four of wands in the reverse, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is coming out like a test and I've got um, some downloads to back it up because it would have been like a, a, something that would actually benefit you to make sure that you're staying on the right course, right? That's why this four of wands in reverse is getting canceled, right? So whatever they were trying to do, lying, cheating, and stealing is not gonna go the, the way that they hoped because somebody that was doing it was the queen of wands in the reverse and I am getting this as a feminine energy. This is somebody who is jealous of your full energy. Somebody is jealous of the different path that you're taking in life. Somebody who's jealous of you doing you unapologetically you. Somebody is very envious and jealous with this queen of wands in reverse energy, right? Very envious, jealous, immature, insecure, like is like to really, you know, bully people and like really be petty. Like this is who this person is. So it's just like, it's an insecurity complex in somebody else when you're doing you all by yourself, like without any, I heard approval, which is funny. Somebody thinks you need approval to do whatever you want to do on your own terms. That's weird. <laughs> the insecurity complex activated by this queen of wands and reverse person. I'm getting this is a feminine energy. This is obviously a karmic feminine energy, but look how fast their lives get shut down because of their energy y'all energy means everything and it's because of this fact this person carries the moon energy somebody was being deceptive about something um, and i'm getting like it's something that you're doing to open doors in your own life so it's got nothing to do with nobody else you're opening doors for your own life right moving away from a person place or thing starting a new craft starting a new business right however this resonates you know moving into a new relationship with somebody else however this is this is moon energy it is an energy of deception going on here somebody whose inferiority insecurity complex is activated by you doing you unapologetically you okay collective their insecurity complex is activated with this moon energy this is also them being in their emotions about it and it's like like i said it's somebody who is watching your every move you have an audience collective like look look give them a show they gave you a show the other day you give them a show okay this moon energy it's i'm getting it is a feminine energy and a lot of it how it's coming through it's a lot of what's in their head a lot of it is in their head about you like who they think you are 
who who the, the thing about it is it's like who you are is you doing you unapologetically you like this person doesn't really have an understanding of who they are like i don't even know you know if they think they know who they are because they're watching you so heavy you see what i'm saying collective that's why this person not a swords in reverse accepted some type of help from somebody they didn't do it alone okay so you got this queen of wands in reverse energy who accepted some help to uh, get the strength in reverse energy being very undisciplined and moving in their urges somebody has an urge to pick fights with people somebody has an urge to be petty with people this is how they get their jollies and i was telling y'all that um the other day right somebody likes doing this it is their own insecurities that are activated when you are doing you all by yourself over there by yourself why they got to be in your energy you know insecure much you know what i'm saying so this is what i'm saying like somebody accepted some help to do something stupid i was telling y'all in my little short little live video i was picking up on a sag excuse my french if this uh, uh, offends anybody but what i heard in the energy i heard the the sagittarius come out in the energy and said they're with the shits okay like somebody likes to do this they like doing this stuff y'all i don't make up anything that i get in the energy i heard that in the energy yesterday Okay, so this may very well may be a Sagittarius, heavy fire sign that's coming through. Somebody just likes to do dumb stuff just to do dumb stuff. But this person who likes to do dumb stuff just to do dumb stuff doesn't know why they're doing it. It's because they're insecure about you. You ain't got nothing to do with them over here by yourself, living, loving, laughing. You know what I'm saying? With the wind in your head, the wind in your back, okay? The wind in your sails, going somewhere else. Like I was recording, uh, I was out by the border, right? Trigger somebody insecure much okay but this is strength and reverse energy is talking about the fact that they're very undisciplined in their energy right and they're driven by their urges this is i'm telling you a sagittarius they they love doing this like this is nothing for them like a walk in the park for them to carry some type of eight of pentacles in reverse this is the energy of being lazy so this person may have like acted like they couldn't do something something was broke down i'm hearing some somebody's car broke down today okay some um, eight of pentacles in reverse energy is also uh, shoddy work right and also being uncommitted mainly what i'm getting is like this particular person got with somebody else to really show you that they didn't like you right they just really want to do something to show you that they didn't like you they're not your buddy they're not your friend they're not your family member they don't like working with you at work they wanted to do something dumb to show you that they didn't like you in your face I, look, if you're secure, if you really are secure, there would be no need to do that. And, and this is where people like who have insecurity, inferiority, compl inferiority complexes, rather, if I can even say the word, they'd be tripping out, right? It's like, if you really are secure and confident in yourself, there would be literally no need to do all that. So they tell them themselves, like all the things that they do to get them, get attention on them, it screams, you're insecure. You don't know who you are. You're steady watching somebody like a hawk to try to figure out who they are to stop them from being who they are because you're just that insecure about yourself. That's why these people don't know who they are. They need to look inward, but they don't, right? This eight of pentacles in reverse says it, right? This uncommitted energy, very lazy energy, you know, doing, you know, shoddy work, right? throwing something up against the wall and acting like it, you know, it's going to stick, right? But it's it's just to get in attention on them. You're being called to take your Page of Cups uh, energy, right? And this is where I'm getting, like I was telling you guys on my, on my live video yesterday, right? This is the energy that I was picking up on, your Page of Cups, right? And I was I actually was feeling King of Cups, Page of Cups, uh, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, right? This Page of Cups talks about you're a very intuitive person. You have psychic abilities. You pick up on people's energy. Yeah, you're picking up on this person's energy all day long. And this is where your Page of Cups energy was what I was getting. I told y'all, y'all were getting an increase in your, your uh, spiritual gifts. This this is here. Here it is right here, your Page of Cups. It is an increase in your spiritual gifts, your increase in your intuition, your increase in your psychic abilities, right? And I've got a lot of downloads to confirm it because you were being called to use it. I told you what I heard in the downloads. It was a test. One, it was a test to make sure that you're staying on that path. Whatever that full energy is, it was a test to make sure that you are on that path. One, because I see Archangel Michael out here, um, I also see him giving you this word of truth. You have the truth on your side. You're going to be given a truth, being shown a truth. So I see Archangel Michael giving you that sort of truth to make sure that you're on your path, right? So you were being tested. You were being tested, but it was for your highest good to make sure you follow your intuition because when people be out here doing this, this was all intentional. It was all intentional. This was not by mistake. Collective, right now, nothing is by coincidence. Nothing, okay? And I was telling you guys that on my, my last video, right? You're getting a lot of uh, signs and synchronicities, a lot of deja vu. Nothing right now is coincidental. Nothing. Everything means something. 
you'd be seeing a lot of 111, 1111, 1122, right? So when you kind of overcome and pass these tests, you're going to be given green lights like 444, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to resonate because it was a spiritual test meant for you, for your highest good. But on the flip side, somebody else was coming to test you. Whoever this King of Swords in reverse person is, this is the same King of Swords person who likes to manipulate behind the scenes. That's the same one. This, this unfair, cruel, judgmental person who's a manipulator, very exploitive and a liar. You know what I'm saying? And what's interesting, like I said, Page of Cups, you have a lot of very intuitive spiritual gifts. You have an increase um, in those. You're getting downloads without even thinking about getting downloads. And I've got more downloads to share with you in a second about that. Here's where I'm picking up on something. This King of Swords is coming out. This is their true energy, right? So you know how they're coming. This is also the carries the energy of legal issues. Your King of Swords in reverse, so possibly something to do with a court case. Um, so I'm getting something to do with money uh, or a bank. I heard bank heist. Um, you might be dealing with somebody in a, a leadership position in a financial institution. So however this resonates, this person is coming out as a leader of sorts because y'all, even though the King of Swords car card is coming out in reverse, what I'm picking up in the energy with that Page of Cups energy, this person is wearing a mask. This person is trying to wear a mask of a King of Pentacles in the upright. Somebody is wearing a mask. Somebody is trying to come out in the upright, right? As a King of Pentacles, because that's what I picked up in the energy. Even though they're coming out as the King of Swords, this is really their true energy. Their mask is the King of Pentacles in the upright. Their mask is they're very secure, they're very stable. Their mask is very trustworthy and dependable, right? Discipline in their energy. That's the mask. So that's the way that they want to come across. So you might be dealing with something in a court case. You might be dealing with something in a job or, or a bank situation. Something has to do with money, some type of custody battle. Um, there's a feminine out here that has three baby daddies and she's mad that she got three baby daddies. And it's just, anyway, anyway, that there was a specific download for somebody. Anyway, this masculine over here, this King of Swords in reverse, has a mask that they're trying to present themselves as upright. I'm picking that up in their inner in their energy, but their true energy really is the King of Swords in the reverse, right? I'm telling you, collective, your intuitive gifts are increasing, increasing. This is a testament for you to pass. So when you see people's true energy, don't discount it. You're picking it up for a reason, right? Because this person was trying to five of swords defeat you. They were. They were trying to defeat you because they wanted you to see their mask. No, 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 no. This is a narcissist who wears a mask. They're definitely wearing a mask with this person because that's all that person sees. This person only sees that King of Pentacles in the upright. But you, my friend, with the Page of Cups energy, you see their true energy. And this is what I'm telling y'all. People can lie all day long, but your energy don't lie. It don't lie. And especially those of you out there who are spiritually gifted, you can see right through them lies, straight through them. Like they ain't got nothing there. It literally amounts to them as just wasting their breath. They can say whatever they want to, but you look at their energy, right? So it, it tells on them all day long. They can say or do whatever they want. Well, I don't do that. Yeah, you do. I'm trying to defeat the collective. Well, my friend, that's not happening. Wheel of Fortune is out here for you. I told you, collective, this was a test. And the fact that you're, like I said, you would have been seeing 111, would have been calling you to look at and make sure you're following your intuition. When you got somebody out here truly wearing a mask, not only to you, but to other people with the intent to defeat you, you must use your spiritual gifts. You must use your intuition. You must trust the energy that you feel. You would be able to physically feel this person's negative energy. I don't care what the mask looked like, okay? You would be able to physically feel their energy that was full of lies. You know what I'm talking about. Empaths out there, stand up, you hear me, which is why you have the Wheel of Fortune out here for you. This is change in this situation. This is luck on your side. This was faded, right? Especially when people be wearing masks with you and everybody else dealing with the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Told you something's got to do with money. So this could be resonate with the job, but I am also getting this has to do with very much your spiritual journey. And I've got some downloads about that. This Ace of Pentacles is a financial opportunity, right? This is also a boost or a bonus energetically. First and foremost, this does have to do with your spiritual journey collective, because like I was telling you guys, it, you are getting that increase in your spiritual gifts. And it's kind of like any gamers out there, when you get like a whole bunch of you know stuff, there's a boss battle. <laughs> gamers out there, you hear me. Um, I think one particular game, when you get like a whole bunch of ammo, you're about to have a boss fight, okay? The fact that I'm picking this up here and it's King of Swords in the reverse energy, some type of boss fight that's wearing a mask, right? That's why you got to increase in your spiritual gifts. Use them. That's why they're there. That's what they're there for, for you to use them to deal with whoever this particular person is to try to take you away from a financial opportunity, a job, a, a court battle, you know, some money at the bank, however the situation resonates or your spiritual gifts in general. 
okay? You know, the devil can lie, cheat, and steal to try to take you away from your own fate, to try to take you away from your own destiny that the Most High God gave you. Come on, collective. It can trick you out of where you're supposed to go spiritually, okay? Somebody out there who might not really resonate with the fact that people do have spiritual spiritual gifts. Oh, uh, well, you, you know, that's just in the movies. No, it ain't. <laughs> No, it ain't. It is a whole real thing, right? People out there are blessed, you know, to be able to do other things, right? Outside of the, the regular norm of society. That is something that the most high has blessed you with. Don't let nobody else talk you out of your spiritual gift. You were given that gift for a reason, collective. I'm, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you this page of pentacles, excuse me, this ace of pentacles energy, however it resonates, money, things, you know, your, your, uh, your spiritual journey, whatever. You took your power back. You went into emperor mode, right? taking authority over the situation because you understand what I'm saying, right? When you're being called to follow your intuition, you would have understood that test energy. It's like, all right, I see what's in front of me. Now it's time for me to make a move. Take your power back, right? Literally take control of the situation is what I'm getting from your inner, your emperor energy. Somebody was trying to take control. Somebody sent this particular person out in front. This person was waiting in the background, waiting for you to be defeated, right? You're like, no. I'm taking control over this. This is the fact that you have power over the situation, right? And as a result, and one's energy comes out with some type of quick movement and speed because you were decided to take the power back. And I'm getting it from this Queen of Wands in reverse, this feminine energy. This masculine's back here thinking you don't see their mask. You absolutely do. And it comes out on their energy because their energy don't lie either, okay? So when you decided to take your power back with this Eight of, uh, eight of Wands energy, quickly go to this judgment and reverse energy if you quickly go to the person who misjudged you who tried to plan your face and i'm getting it is the feminine in this particular situation this judgment in the reverse happens to belong to this feminine energy who is a high priestess in the reverse okay this is the person who judged me the, who judged you this high priestess in the reverse is an untrustworthy person they don't follow their intuition so again i'm getting this like a test of people following their intuition do you follow your intuition because this person certainly doesn't they're a liar they're a manipulator they just want to do petty stuff right whoever this particular high priestess in reverse was right their secrets are revealed you pass this test collective you follow your intuition and because this person doesn't they go straight to the ace of cups in the reverse y'all this person doesn't like you at all i don't care who this is right this gives me like straight cold like then this is the ace of cups in reverse like a blocked heart right this is actually just being really cold, right? Really shut down. Also just repressing their emotions, which is very interesting. Very, very interesting because this energy comes out for this feminine energy, but your page of cups uh, energy also has to do with an open heart. So you have an open heart dealing with someone who has a blocked heart, y'all. And I did hear in the energy, something has to do with the heart chakra is going on here. Can you make sure to take your power back in the situation and continue to have an open heart. So you're starting out with the page of cups with an open heart, dealing with people who are doing dumb stuff uh, around you, to you, about you, you know what I'm saying? But now this person over here has got a blocked heart. But can you maintain your open heart with people who don't like you and who just really want to prove to you that you're they're not your friend, they don't want to work with you, I don't want to hang out with you like at all, your ex is just a cr crummy person, you know what I'm saying? How do you handle these particular situations, right? Dealing with people who carry hangman energy. And I'm getting like this, this hangman energy, this is not them looking at you from a different perspective. This is you kind of understanding that this person did try to sacrifice you. This hangman energy does carry that energy of sacrifice, also causing delays in a situation. Somebody they wanted to set you back yeah they wanted to set you back by some type of bullying te technique or you know tactic taking some type of money away you know fighting you in a court battle this masculine over here wanted to cause you some type of delay and sacrifice you because they teamed up with this feminine right this is also this uh hangman uh, energy is also you causing some type of delay but they what they wanted to delay is your nine of pentacles energy which is really interesting your nine of pentacles energy is the fact that you are hardworking trustworthy, dependable, and you're committed in everything that you're doing. Somebody wanted to try to stall you, take something from you, steal from you, cheat, cheat um, on you, however the situation resonates. It's trying to stall you and sacrifice you from doing you, creating your new your new life, right? However the situation resonates, your new career, starting back in school, however the situation resonates for you. This Nine of Pentacles does carry a slow but steady result, so somebody wanted to slow you down take from you so you can't do steal from you so you don't have you know try to you know manipulate other people to go against you so you cannot do what you do because they know you're a hard worker your energy always comes out your energy don't lie either collective 
They know you're a hard worker. They know you're pushing through. So people wanted to try to stall you and delay you and act like you can't do what you do. Lies, 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 lies. They just wanted to kind of cut you out. This is what envy and jealousy does to people. If these people were actually secure, like I'm getting this King of Swords in reverse really wants to be, because that's how they're trying to come out in the energy. If they really were secure in who they are, there would be no need to try to slow you down with your Knight of Pentacles energy. The fact that you do are you are a hard worker and you are committed in everything that you do, right? And you're very trustworthy. If they were really secure, they would not be looking at you, trying to figure out how to stop you, slow you down or whatever, and send other karmic feminines to try to derail you or what have you. You know what I'm saying? That's not security. So that person wearing a mask, that masculine, that mask gets ripped straight off. That person is insecure and jealous of you too. Come on, collective. I don't care who this is. It's me, your own father. Because people know that you're all the up and up, right? And this is what I'm saying. How what it, something about your heart chakra is important here. That's what I'm getting in the downloads. This uh, three of swords in reverse energy talks about the energy of healing. Talks about the energy of forgiveness and avoiding the problem. Right. I do think that you avoided this problem. Right. Because I think that you are committed and focused on doing what you're supposed to be doing and not focusing on anybody else. So that's that full energy staying on your course and following your intuition. I'm so proud of y'all for doing that because that was the test and you passed it. Go ahead on, Collective. This is the energy of healing. You're not letting these people bother you no more. They're their own problem. Like quite literally, they're their own problem. They're in the jealousy of you because they keep watching your every move is their own problem. These people are sick with envy, sick with jealousy, and it literally only hurts them and not you because you're continuing to release and move and heal and overcome problems that these people try to bring your way. And I don't think it even affected you one way or another. Why? Because you're coming out as a sun. Collecta, I told y'all this. I was picking up on the sun energy yesterday. Here it go. Y'all, I don't make up anything that I get in the energy. The sun energy is talking about your health, truth. And the fact that I got that download and that vision of Archangel Michael giving you the sword of truth. Here it go. The, the truth is the sun illuminating what these people be doing. These plots to try to manipulate and stop you and slow you down all because they're envious and jealous of you, including this karmic masculine and including this karmic feminine. Whoever these people are, whether it's friends, family members, the ex, the co-workers, you know, the karmic attached to the ex, whoever these people are, they don't like that you're illuminating their insecurities. They don't like that you're illuminating their fears. They don't like that you're illuminating the fact that you do what they can't do, won't do, too lazy to do. Y'all, this is their energy. It's not not yours. It's when you do what other people can't do, they get envious and jealous and try to stop you because you're the one with the hardworking, trustworthy, dependable, and committed energy that can push through any of that crap, including their crap. Trying to be lazy. They don't, they don't like you. They want to show you that they don't like you, right? And they do sloppy work. They don't do their work the right way. So it's their energy versus theirs. This is the jealousy. This is why. This is why they do what they do. It's envy and jealousy. If these people really were as secure as they're trying to come out in the energy, trying to and failing, right? All this stuff wouldn't be getting exposed like this. These people's envy and jealousy is exposed. The sun energy tells it. This is positivity, fame, truth, vitality. This is you illuminating who these people really are and the fact that they can't stop you. Sun energy, and here's why, our final clarifier, because you are escalating from the Page of Cups to the Queen of Cups, and this is the escalation, boy, I'm telling you, and I've got a little story I wanna share with you guys to help somebody if this resonates spiritually. Your Queen of Cups energy is someone who does have those psychic abilities. You are sensitive to people's negative energy or just energy in general, right? I was telling you guys that on my past reading, right? You raise your vibration, you know, whatever's falling away from you, let it fall away. It's vibrational, right? So whatever does not resonate, it doesn't resonate and it's not resonating for a reason. Follow your intuition, okay? This Queen of Cups energy, let's talk about you're sensitive, you're emotional, you're someone who's very caring, right? You lead with the heart. Heart chakra is important here. Keep leading with the heart. You will continue to find your soul tribe. And I was talking about that as far as your north node, you're gonna find what resonates with this Queen of Cups energy, you're using your intuition, right? Using the fact that you can pick up on the energy that vibrates with you, that will help you find your soul tribe. And a little story time, if I may, you guys, and before we go ahead and on with the reading, I had a wonderful experience um, in my little short little video. I had, um, you know, took some time away. Obviously, you guys might have known my upload was a little bit delayed. So I took some time away to follow my intuition. And I had been getting visions about a particular man and a woman before I even saw them, right? So I got a vision about a man holding a baby in his hand, walking down some steps. And I didn't, I have not seen this man before, but I got a vision. 
I went down to dinner at the place that I was staying and I saw that man holding his baby exactly as I saw it in the vision, okay? You guys understand me if you resonate with your spiritual gifts. You're getting an increase in your spiritual gifts. You're getting downloads of visions and you don't even know that you're getting them. It's for a reason. Walk in it, accept who you are, okay? We happened to go to the dinner at the same place. I saw, you know, I didn't speak to them, but the next night um, I got another vision right before dinner and it was about his wife holding their baby. And we happened to sit at the exact same tables at the place where we were at staying. I didn't speak to them again, but the next day I checked out. So I checked out yesterday. I happened to be standing right next to that man. And I was called to give this man a message, okay? Following your intuition collective. And when you're dealing with raising your vibration, what's not gonna resonate will fall away and what does resonate will be attracted to you. I was pulled to this man because I kept getting visions and I had not laid eyes on this man, okay? He was standing right next to me and I said to him, are you celebrating uh, an anniversary? He said, yes. I said, okay. And I told him about the visions that I had had and he immediately started getting teary-eyed. And I didn't necessarily understand why he was getting teary-eyed, but I kind of thought, so I continued. So I said, and I said, that's your wife over there? He said, yeah. And so I pointed at his baby and I said, is your baby a Leo? And he said, yeah. And I said, your, your baby's special. And I gave him a message that I was called to give him about his baby. Baby's still in the stroller and everything. And this man, tears started rolling down his face. And I said, he's special. He says, I know he's gonna be a healer. And I asked him and I said, are you spiritual too? And he said, yeah, you can feel it, can't you? And I said, yes. Y'all, that was the most powerful, powerful experience that I ever had, right? And typically I don't just walk up to, you know, to everybody in the public and start telling them the visions that I've had of them. But there was a reason I was called to it was on that vibrational level. And when I started speaking, this man understood where I was coming from. This man is also a healer as well. This man knew exactly where I was coming from and he knew why I was guided to give him the message. He didn't say it out of his mouth, but I heard in his energy that my message came to him at the right time. Okay. And I told him that, you know, typically I wouldn't walk up to strangers and give him that message, but he said, you know what? You know, when, when when you're called to do what we're called to do, continue to give the message. If people don't understand you, forget them, leave them. You follow your intuition. Y'all, this is a confirmation for me, okay? Everybody out here is on their journey, including me. So I'm sitting here telling you as a reader, everybody gets a confirmation. When you follow your intuition, what is on your energetic level will be attracted to you. What is not on your energetic level will fall away from you and it's meant to follow your intuition collective, follow your spiritual gifts, follow your intuition, do what you are called to do because that is leading you to your North Node, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get a Visions of Duality and we'll get some advice for our collective. Card eight, under a sky of random fortunes. All right, let's take a look at this under a sky of random fortunes. Have you ever wondered how much you have been the maker of your life and how much your life has been the maker of you? Since the moment we have been born, we have been subjected to the auspiciousness of life and the randomness of happenstance. In other words, shit happened and we would never have blossomed out without it. Still, we must uh, pursue some sort of serendipity, else we get addicted to the pain and misery, just because we feel them as normal. Advice, do not forget to cherish the little things, else you forget yourself to sadness. Yep, and there's a quote here, it says, when the soul suffers too much, it develops a taste for misfortune. That's not you, Collective. You got all these miserable people around here that develop a taste for misfortune, they like it. Not you, Collective. You're following your true north. You're following that full energy and following and trusting your intuition, right? This is exactly why you continue to move and lead with the heart, okay? Let's get a gratitude oracle and wrap it up. Card 41 talks about energy. It's all about the energy that you carry. These people can do and say whatever they want. Their energy tells on them, which means they're a liar. They're very insecure and they keep doing things to you because of their bad negative energy. Everyone has a specific energetic vibration. Learning to discern the difference in your energy when it is on a high or low vibration can help you self-regulate. As you come to understand your energetic distinctions, you will be able to adjust your vibration consciously. When your vibration is lower, your energy is heavier and denser. At such times, you may experience discomfort in your body and be susceptible to catching a cold or other illnesses. You may find that your problems are overwhelming too. You also may feel less motivated and view things more pessimistically. The higher your vibration, the louder you will feel in your body, your mind, and your emotions. You will have more clarity and be able to express love and joy and have a sense of peace. You will feel more positive and be able to take on challenges. Your life will flow with ease and synchronicity. Your, when your vibration is higher, your energetic body or aura will reflect this and it will be full of white light. 
You might feel that your heart is more open and that you are more compassionate for others and their processes. You will be less likely to lash out at others as you will want to be more loving. As you become more aware of your energetic frequency, you will notice your higher vibrations affect the energy of those who you come in contact with. You might start seeing subtle changes in those around you. You might become aware of the vibrational dissonance you feel when you enter a low vibrational situation. Everyone can raise their vibration though. It requires commitment, but when you shift your energy, you will also attract people who vibrate at the same level. Your thought patterns will become healing, supportive, and help you view your life and your choices with clarity and optimism. As you manage your energy and stay in a higher loving frequency, your ability to ex express gratitude will become second nature. Yep. And this is what I'm what I'm getting. Like all the energy is coming out in the cards. Like you see it collective. This is what somebody's in contract with, in contrast with. You started out with the page of cups energy, but you know, being sensitive, emotional, intuitive, and that psychic abilities resonating, escalating to the queen of cups, right? So you are definitely feeling all the energy around you. You can feel this person's cold blocked heart. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this particular person is, but look at you still being hardworking, trustworthy, and committed, right? This is this energy, the three of swords in the reverse, right? This is healing, right? And this is also the energy of overcoming things with that sun energy, positivity, raising your vibration. Y'all, this is all y'all energies. I'm telling you, it's kind of like you understand the, the sky of the random fortunes, right? Because you are raising your energy, raising your vibration, continue to move forward and move in your highest vibration and trust your intuition collective. I'm so happy y'all passed this test. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.